Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to build basic mind maps in Xmind 2020. Now to form a, to build your first topic, we can either use the button up here, label topic, to give us our main topic one. You can also use the return key or the enter key for the same effect. So if I hit return now, you'll see I create more main topics. As a general rule of thumb, the return key can be used to create topics on the same level that you're currently working on. So for example, if I've highlighted main topic now and I click return, it'll give me another main topic. However, if you wanted to build downwards, build outwards and create subtopics, you can use the tab if you're on a Mac or the insert key if you're on a PC to build outwards. And again, if I wanted to create subtopics on the same level, I can then use return. Equally, there is another subtopic button up here if you prefer that method. To input text, simply click on the desired topic, so in this case, main topic one, and begin typing. This is topic one. If I then wanted to edit this, I can double click on it and change words within it, or in this case, just change it back to main topic one. Now to delete topics, as I'm sure you can probably guess, you simply have to use the delete or backspace key and it'll get rid of anything you don't want that's currently highlighted. To move topics around, you simply click and drag and it'll, you'll see it's attached from main topic one and reattached to main topic two, or I could make it into a main topic itself. If I wanted to move multiple topics at the same time, I can either click and drag to select multiple, or I can hold down command or control if you're on a PC and select multiple topics at the same time, and then you'll see the same effect. If I move them, they will all move together. Now, if you wanted to hide some content, so if I just populate this a little bit more, so if you found yourself with a map that had lots of layers, lots of uh, different branches and subtopics, and you wanted to hide the things that weren't relevant, you can use this little minus symbol here, and if I click that, you'll see that minimizes everything there. If I want to reinstate it, I can simply press it again, and it'll put it all back to where it was. This concludes this brief tutorial on building basic mind maps in Xmind. For more Xmind training, tutorials, and templates, head to biggerplate.com.